Right now, I'm gonna show you my new favorite way to make carbonated water at home. So if you're like me and you are addicted to that tasty bubbly beverage, it's actually really easy to do at home. Plus, it's much more cost effective. I'm sure you've seen the price of bubbly water. It's basically boutique carbonated water. It just keeps going up and up and the markup and the margins on it are massive. It's actually really cheap and easy to make at home. So here, this kit I got from Keg Outlet. So full transparency, Keg Outlet did send this to me for free. In exchange, I'm making some videos showing you how it works and I'm also gonna give you my honest thoughts and opinion about this kit. You can find them online, kegoutlet.com. Plus all the links to everything in this video if you want to check it out further. So here I've got the Gooseneck Growler. This is a two liter growler. So that is 66 ounces. That boils down to about 12, or excuse me, five 12 ounce cans. So five 12 ounce cans, your standard soda pop can. Then you also need this carbonation cap and the faucet here. Now, this is what they sent me. I already had this, so you're also going to need a CO2 tank, a regulator, and this one has a ball post, so you will need a ball lock system there. Of course, they sell all of this on their website, so you can get everything you need from them if you don't have any of this yet. So filling it up here. So you just wanna fill it up, not all the way, you wanna leave a little headroom because you're gonna be pumping some gas in there, so you want a little bit of head space in there. Really any water that you are comfortable drinking, you can fill this up with. So if you want just tap water or uh, filtered water, you can use that. But I just use the water out of my faucet. We've got really good clean water here. So that's the water that I'm using, but really just depends on what you wanna use and what type of water you have. So fill it up with some water here, leaving a little bit of headroom. Then we're just going to attach our carbonation cap with faucet here, with our faucet. And then it also comes with a dip tube or a pickup tube. So we're just gonna dip that in here. Now first, before I did any of this, I filled this up with water and I put it in the refrigerator overnight so it is nice and cold. Cold beverages carbonate better and faster so that's why you want it cold. So if at all possible, you wanna do this with cold water. And then if you do have the space, you can actually put it in a fridge. Maybe you can even get your own mini fridge that is just gonna be for your carbonated water if you really like how this works. So really, that's it. You screw on the carbonation cap. You've already attached your faucet. It comes with everything you need to get this all set up and attached. If you can turn a thread or thread a, a bolt onto a screw, you can put this system together. It is really that easy. So now you're going to have to have your CO2 tank and your regulator all put together with your ball post here or your ball lock, and then you're just going to attach it here to the ball post. Simple, press it down, it snaps into place. Now we're just going to turn it on to carbonate it. So first we're gonna do about 15 PSI. We're gonna burp it, so we're gonna purge any oxygen that's in there, so it's just gonna be CO2 in the cool water here. So turning it on, turning on our CO2 here, and we're just gonna go nice and slow here to start. So we're just gonna ease into it. Make sure everything's kind of closed up here. There we go. So there, that's about between 12 and 15 PSI. So here we've got the pressure release valve. I'm just gonna pull that a little bit. A couple times there. There we go. So that should have purged any oxygen that is in that growler, and now it's just gonna be pure CO2. So at this point, I'm gonna turn it up here. I want it much higher. I want it about 30 PSI for force carbonating. So once I get it up there, now I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun here and I'm just gonna shake it. So it's going to get that carbonation, it's gonna carbonate your water a lot faster if you shake it and actually allow that CO2 to get in there. So I'm just gonna do this for about a minute. So there, that's been about a minute. Now, you really wanna let it sit a little while to carbonate more. You know, the longer, the better. It can take a couple days in some cases, really kinda of depends on the size of the keg. But by, you know, 12 to 24 hours, this is really gonna be fully carbonated. Now, the nice thing about making it at home is that you can really play with the carbonation. You can customize it. If you like more or less than what you traditionally get at the store, you can do that, so that's the really cool thing. So I can't wait here, I just wanna show you a little bit how it works. So for dispensing it, so what I would typically do is let this sit here for a couple hours, maybe overnight, and then the next day, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down 
my pressure here. And then you can go ahead and do some pressure relief here. And that's going to show then appropriately on the gauge what our true pressure is here. So once I get down to about 10 to 15, that's really where I want to leave it for dispensing. So that's pretty good right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and tap it here and just show you what it looks like here. So you have a control valve over here that you do need to turn and that's going to allow you to control the flow of the carbonated water. So when you turn it on here, you can go ahead and adjust the flow and that's going to see how it's slowing down or speeding up. So it's really up to you on how much you want it to flow and then you can turn it off. So there you go, you see we've already got some carbonation in there and that was just one minute of shaking it and you can already taste it. So it is carbonated, you're already gonna taste it, but the longer you let it sit, the more carbonated it's gonna get. Ah, and there you go. That's good carbonated water. My daughter calls it spicy water because that bubbly feeling, it's kind of reminds her of a spicy beverage. That is it. It is truly that simple to make carbonated water at home. Essentially, if you can screw a cap onto a bottle, you are good to go. So the nice thing is, is that they have everything that you need. If you're first getting started and you need everything, you can get it at their website. Or if you just need a few pieces here and there, you can also kind of break it up and just get what you need. So again, that is Keg Outlet, kegoutlet.com. They did send this to me for free. So what do I think? Well, I have to say, in all honesty, this truly is my favorite tap system for carbonating water. It is truly the easiest, simplest way to do it. I love the fact that it's just one cap. You don't have two different posts here. I love the dispensing faucet here with the handle. It's very high quality. This stuff is just very well built steel, stainless steel, high quality materials. You couldn't damage it unless you wanted to. You would actually have to try to. It is just really high quality stuff. So very uh, impressed with that. Also, I have to say on the back end, just shipping was really fast. Communication back and forth, I'd have to say A plus. Uh, great as far as that goes. So if you ever had any issues, they would resolve it really quickly. So great customer service and everything on the back end. Definitely, no joke, my favorite tap system that I've tried, especially for carbonating water and things like that. So hopefully that was helpful. Get to making some carbonated water. It's really easy. Customize it. Get into it. It's a fun hobby and it's, it's a really fun thing to do. So get to it. Also, if you like DIY around the house, please feel free to like and subscribe. Check out some other videos. My name is Drew. I'll see you in the next one.